Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Villa. I'm back with another video. Herschel Walker. You porch monkey motherfucker. <laughs> now, <laughs> for the for the ordinary people out there, for the people that don't really follow sports or anything like that, Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker is a, um, uh, what was he? I think he was a two-time Pro Bowl running back, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he played for several teams, Dallas Cowboys, Philadelphia Eagles, blah, blah, blah. Heisman Trophy winner with the University of Georgia, if I'm not mistaken on that. Ah, you know, well, a couple of accolades up under his belt, you know. Uh, I think he even won the national championship. But we're not here to really talk about his collegiate or professional sports accolades. We're here to talk about his comments on reparations. Now, I know everybody everybody's like reparations? Why are we still talking about reparations? Some people feel like we deserve reparations. Some of us in, within the black community probably tired of hearing about the topic of reparations but it's black history month you know uh, i feel like i get my little hustle on you know talk about everything for the for the black plight or the black community you know um so here it is here it is herschel walker said slavery ended over 130 years ago why are we worried about rep reparations? Why do we need reparations, basically? He's against reparations. He spoke out against reparations. Um, and that's fine. You know, if you want to be a, a, coon, a coon monkey, sure, that's fine. Go ahead. You know, but for the most part, it's like to me, you already got your reparations. You already got your reparations. You got everything you wanted out of life. So it's just like, I get it. Like, you got your shit. But it's it's more about the community and not necessarily about yourself and the fact that you call yourself speaking on behalf of the community. For the most part, I can't necessarily agree with that. I cannot agree with that. Now, am I, am I a realist when it comes to the reparations conversation? Yeah, I could give you my argument on why we deserve reparations. Then I could give you a whole ass argument on how we're not going to receive it. And I might even dab it, tap into that for a little bit. But it's just a simple fact that the, the claims that Mr. Walker made saying that our race relations has gotten better, probably yours, because you was a professional athlete, so you was dipping in white coochie since you got drafted. You know, like, you got your reparations. You was dipping in the white man, the, the white man's women since you, since you picked the football up and got drafted. Now, am I wrong for saying that? Probably, but you know, no, that's just my truth. And, you know, the, the conversation of reparations keep coming up. H.R. 40, that is the bill that you want to go and look, like, look at. Y'all favorite president to bring up, y'all president, Mr. Barack Hussein Obama, denied H.R. 40, denied the study of reparations. He didn't want no parts of it. Obama didn't want shit to do with it, personally. Not, per not personally, but to be honest, you can go look up his, I think it was a whole ass interview and they mentioned H.R. 40 and the reasonings behind him banning it, I mean not banning it, but denying it he felt like black people didn't really deserve reparations either. 
<laughs> That's for the people that were that were gonna go dig up Herschel Walker and bring up the fact that he was he's a Trump supporter. That's for y'all. That's for y'all. But and a lot of people are gonna say, well, he's not just a president for black people, you know, he, he's a president for all. I don't wanna hear that shit. Everybody else do for their own people, why can't you? You know, it's not it's not about Obama, it's about cool ass Herschel Walker. But he did make a strong argument. Or he had a strong statement in regards to how will they go about not only distributing the funds or the so-called reparations, but he brought up the fact that how will you be able to identify people that were quote unquote descendants of African slaves because there could be a lot of people out there that will milk the system that will claim that they are black or African American in order to receive reparations and that's, that's the fact that's true that's absolutely true. That's absolutely true. That is possible. But here's where I tap into what I was said I was going to tap into. Now, wait, hold on, hold on. Before I do that, before I do that, they also said that we could study how the stimulus checks have been distributed, which we barely were getting those. We're barely getting them, motherfuckers. And or we could study. The distribution of the stimulus checks to come up with a way of paying the so-called descendants descendants of slaves. Mind you, when they look into slavery and the amount of money that we are owed, it's about fourteen point eight trillion trillion dollars to the black community. Now, let me go ahead and dive into what I was going to say. Now, the people perpetrating to be so-called African-Americans are trying to get over on the reparations uh, case and so forth and so on. <clears throat> First and foremost, we're going to tap into the number of African slaves that actually entered North America. A little over 300,000 African people were enslaved and came through North America. That's North America. Again, a little over, a little under, a little over 300,000, a little under 400,000. That's how many African slaves actually came through North America. Now, a lot of y'all are like, are you serious? That's that's the right number? That's it? That's all? That's all? Yeah, only 5% of the cargo, I'm going to call them cargo, only 5% of the cargo of the transatlantic slave trade actually entered North America, ladies and gentlemen. Only 5%. Only 400,000. I'm going I'm to leave it at 400,000 slaves came into North America. Now, how can 400,000 slaves produce a population of 14% of the American country or North, or North America's country? Those numbers don't add up. Those numbers don't add up. And the reason why I say that is because you have to take an account of famine these people being starved to death, being malnutrition, uh, suffering from malnutrition, castration, hangings, um, so forth and so on. You got to remember that. You have to remember that. So it's hard for me to believe that 400,000 slaves turned into 14% of the North American population. It's very hard. So, Reg, what are you saying? What are you saying? That we're not Africans? 
Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm saying. It's kind of hard to believe that the whole diaspora, the, the, the black diaspora, it's hard to believe that we're all our descendants from African slaves. Now, what do make a shit ton of sense is that when they came to North America, not Columbus, Columbus went to Hispaniola. Ladies and gentlemen, Hispaniola is the Dominican Republic in Haiti. Okay? Remember that. Everybody knows Columbus didn't land in North America. Columbus landed in the Caribbean. Now, back to what I was saying. Now, Rich, are you sure black people are Africans? I didn't say not all of us. What I said was a large majority of us aren't African American. Are African, are descendants from African, or we might be descendants from Africans, but Africans that were already here. So it makes more sense instead of you going across the seas, getting your cargo, bringing it over here, and more than likely it's it being a six to twelve month uh, voyage, and then let's say you get a you got over what let's say two thousand African slaves. A good 40% of those African slaves ain't even going to make make the voyage. 30 to 40% of those African slaves ain't even going to make the voyage. So you toss the cargo off the ship because it's dying. From, again, malnutrition, famine, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. Poor conditions, whatever, whatever. So it only makes, more, it only makes sense to actually enslave the people that were already here and then start the transatlantic slave trade in reverse to what is actually being told. So for black Americans to actually be able to receive reparations, because they did highlight African Americans, we're still, we still won't be able to receive repara reparations because again, they committed paper genocide, genocide with the pen. They changed up our background. They told us folk, folk tales about us coming from overseas being enslaved in a country that we uh, probably weren't in because we're actually aboriginals to the country that we're already in bringing us over on this voyage and then us being enslaved here but in all actuality a lot of us were already here and they just enslaved us while we were in our, our on our own land because again the transatlantic slave trade happened in reverse it didn't start in africa it started here they were enslaving a lot of people here and it makes sense because why again why would you make that voyage only for 60 to 50 percent of your cargo to actually make it here you're actually losing a lot more money in doing that, it makes sense to enslave the people that's already here and then ship them out to the South Americas, to the to the Caribbeans, to the to Canada, blah blah blah, whatever, whatever. To Brit to to Great Britain, blah, blah, blah. you get you get what I'm saying. So the reason why I feel like Regardless of what Herschel Walker said, it will be hard for us to receive reparations. The only way we going to truly receive reparations is if we take this case from Congress. Congress don't need it because we're not going to get the proper money that we was we we need anyway unless we go full on tax exemption. Tax exemption is the only way if Congress handles this that we'll receive our reparations. Johnny Cochran did it best before he was I feel like he was murdered before he was murdered. He was taking that shit to courts. He was studying reparations. That's why he was murdered. You got to sue the banks. The banks are the ones that have your reparations. That's all I got to say.